Welcome to CodeFight's interview practice. In this video, we will be discussing multidimensional arrays. In our previous video on arrays, we represented an array as a location reserved in memory, storing individual pieces of data. We didn't care what type of data the marbles represented, maybe it was a character or an integer. The arrays were indexed to allow easy access to the data. We can tell that whatever is stored in index 0 and index 2 are the same, but is different from what's stored in index 1 and index 3. Instead of storing a single integer or character inside each element of an array, we could make an array where each element stores other arrays. Let's say that index 0 of our array A, we stored an array of four elements. We would reserve the space, create the array, and fill the new array with data. This newly created array has its own index values. The red marble is in position 0 of A0, the blue marble is in position 1 of A0, the green in position 2 of A0, and the black in position 3 of A0. How would we write this? Each marble lives in A0, but in a different position of A0. So the red marble is in position 0 of A0, the blue marble in position 1 of A0, with the green and black in positions 2 and 3 of A0. We could build a second array. This time, all four entries are the same. The arrays don't have to be the same size. We could have A2 be an array with only two elements, and A3 be an array with eight elements. Notice this array will have more indices than 0, 1, 2, 3, so we go ahead and include indices 4, 5, 6, and 7. What color are the marbles located at A21, A36, and A16? The marble in A3 at index 1 is blue, the marble in A2 at index 6 is green. The array A1 only has indices 0, 1, 2, 3, so there is no A16. We call this array two-dimensional because we need two indices to access an element. First we have to say which row in A we are going to look at, then we have to say which element in the array we want. Of course we could make an array whose elements were arrays, whose elements were arrays. You could use this technique of putting arrays in arrays to make three-dimensional, four-dimensional, or any dimensional arrays. For interviews, it's rare to see more than a two-dimensional array. In some cases, it will make sense to have a variable number of indices per element. For example, if this were an array of strings, ai is the ith string, and aij is the jth character in the ith string. Because each string can have a different length, we don't force each ai to be the same length. In other cases, we want to force all the entries ai to have the same length. For example, if each ai stores information about the ith person, and the columns store age, weight, and salary information, we're going to want to make sure that each ai has exactly three elements, so we know we're not missing any information. While we could use our array of arrays to store this information, some languages have multidimensional arrays built in. We've seen two techniques for building two-dimensional arrays. One is to use arrays which contain arrays as their elements. The other is to use a multi-dimensional array built into the language, if available. Be sure to check out CodeFight's interview practice for more information about arrays and to practice solving real interview questions about them.